Attention please. Make sure you watch until the end. Hello everybody. It's JM Inspiration. Are you ready to meet our guest? Are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to... <laughs> Did you hear that? You must be joking. Do it again. everybody, it's me, Robert Downey Jr. Alright guys, so before we get started, I do want to thank all of you, who tap like button on every single of our videos, who comment on every single of our videos, because it is important for our engagement, and for getting the word out and bringing all content to new people, and if you're new here and you have not already subscribed, make sure you tap on that red subscribe button and turn on notification bells and join the strongest family on YouTube. So thanks for joining me. I thanks for joining me. Robert Downey Jr. has seen the worst time of his life and has changed it, transformed it towards good. His willpower and self-belief helped him secure his position in Hollywood as an actor who the world loves. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. Oh, shut up. Let's get started. Downey was born in Manhattan, New York, the younger of two children. His father is an actor and filmmaker, while his mother, Elsie Ann, was an actress who appeared in Downey Sr.'s films. His film career started at the tender age of five years when he first made his acting debut in his father Robert Downey Sr.'s film. Playing a sick puppy in the absurdist comedy Pound, 1970. That tornado scared me so much it made my hair disappear. Have any hair on your bow? I'm afraid to look. You're afraid to look at yourself, you're perfect. As a child, Downey was surrounded by drugs. His father, a drug addict, allowed Downey to use marijuana at age six, an incident which his father later said he regretted. Downey later revealed that the drug abuse became a basis for emotional attachment between him and his father. In 1983, Downey began to build on theater roles, including in the short-lived off-Broadway musical American Passion, produced by Norman Lear at the Joyce Theater. In 1984, he met Sarah Jessica and dated her for seven years before his drug addiction took a toll on his relationship and she left him. He was part of the new younger cast hired for Saturday Night Live in 1985, but after a year of poor ratings and criticism of the comedic talents of the new cast, he and the rest of the new crew were fired and replaced. First I'd like to welcome aboard our newest member of the Humberfloop family, Jim McFlinnigan! Mr. Humberfloop! I wanted to thank you. Fired. I beg your pardon? Fired. But I... In 1987, Downey gave a memorable performance in the film adaptation of the Bret Easton Ellis novel Less Than Zero, playing a rich kid whose life went off the rails amid a severe heroin addiction. Downey's off-screen life would soon uncannily resemble the role. Gradually, he lost control over his addiction. A month later, while on parole, he trespassed into a neighbor's home while under the influence of a substance and fell asleep in one of their beds. He received three-year probation with the order of undergoing regular drug test. In 1992, he starred as Charlie Chaplin in Chaplin, a role for which he prepared extensively, learning how to play the violin and tennis left-handed. He had a personal coach to help him imitate Chaplin's posture and a way of carrying himself. The role garnered Downey an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor at the Academy Awards 65th Ceremony. In 1992, he married actress-singer Deborah Falconer after a 42-day courtship. 
Their son, Indio Falconer Downey, was born in September 1993. The strain on their marriage from Downey's repeated trips to rehab and jail finally reached a breaking point. In 1997, he had to spend six months in the Los Angeles County Jail for missing one drug test. In 1999, he was again sentenced to three years of jail for missing the drug tests. All his big projects were ceased. In 2001, during Downey's last arrest and sentencing to an extended stay in rehab, Falconer left Downey and took their son with her. Downey and Falconer completed their divorce on April 26, 2004. In 2003, his life took a miraculous turn when he met and fell in love with practical and resolute woman, Susan Levin, who entirely changed the outlook of his life. She had a huge contribution in helping him out of his drug abuse and addiction. Their first child, a son named Exton Elias, was born in February 2012, and their second, a daughter named Avery Roll, was born in November 2014. Downey was able to return to the big screen after Mel Gibson, a close friend to Downey, paid Downey's insurance bond for the 2003 film The Singing Detective. In 2007, Downey was cast as the title character in the film Iron Man, with director Jon Favreau. Iron Man was globally released between April 30 and May 3, 2008, grossing over $585 million worldwide and receiving rave reviews, which cited Downey's performance as a highlight of the film. Downey was cast as the role of Iron Man in the 2008, a role he later reprised in The Incredible Hulk, 2008. Take it easy, buddy. This might give you a bit of a sting here, Bruce. <laughs> Iron Man 2, 2010, The Avengers, 2012, Iron Man 3, 2013, Avengers Age of Ultron, 2015, Captain America Civil War, 2016, Spider-Man Homecoming, 2017, Avengers Infinity War, 2018, Avengers Endgame, 2019, Spider-Man Far From Home, 2019, and will reprise his role in the upcoming film Black Widow, 2020. Robert Downey Jr.'s net worth has been estimated to be in the range of $350 million. He has topped more than once the list of Hollywood's best paid actors, with an average of $80 million in earnings. Imagine if, for the first time, our heroes all lost. Never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Never surrender. Robert Downey Jr has seen the worst time of his life and has changed it, transformed it towards good. His willpower and self-belief helped him secure his position in Hollywood as an actor who the world loves. Robert's inspiring true life story of how Iron Man went from troubled teen to Tony Stark teaches us all one thing for sure. Remember that just because you hit bottom doesn't mean you have to stay there. Number one, also open at number one, together we can do anything. Thanks for watching.